All right, Emily, you just mentioned it's cold out, and what is better, chilly weather than the smell of fresh bread in the kitchen? And you might think it takes a long time, but you can actually make it in five minutes. The author of a new book that we're going to talk about in just a minute, Jeff Hertzberg, thanks for coming in here. Thanks, Megan. All right, five minutes, really? Five minutes, really, if you take the active time only, not the time it's rising, not the time it's baking, but the actual but work your you work time. Your work time, All active right. in the kitchen. Should I just go ahead and mix it? Go ahead and mix it, and I'm going to ask you 110 okay, questions. Okay, great. It's four <laughs> ingredients, flour, water, salt, and yeast, and I've already measured out six and a half cups of flour, and I'm going to throw in three cups of water all at once without any artistry, and the yeast and the salt with equally no artistry, okay. and mix them with a spoon. You could use a machine, and that's fine too, and it creates a very wet dough, like you see here, okay. which then sits on the counter for two hours, and while and you stir that, I just want to ask you, your sure. book, Artisan Bread in Five Minutes? Yep. It's Available? You said it's doing great, though. It's doing great. It's the number one uh, bread cookbook on Amazon.com for a year almost now. Wow. We've been out 11 months, so we're pretty excited. It was a fluke. It was a hobby of mine. And a hobby. We should mention, if you want to meet a renaissance man, Jeff is it because you're a doctor, a computer genius, a musician, and now an author. This is the fun hobby that turned into a book. Right, and we'll I keep met, working on the hobby. I met a co-author. She's, she's Zoe Francois. She's a pastry chef, and we decided to develop this little idea it had 15 years ago into a book. I'm going to show you what that looks like after it's been in the refrigerator, because that's the basis of five minutes a day. You make okay. a lot and you throw it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks and you can take that out and so this has been sitting, you don't have to mix it every right. day. It smells good though. It does smell good. <laughs> um, you can cut off a piece like this Okay. or use a knife, whichever you want. Is this one of those things that you can kind of get creative with while you're doing you it? You sure can. Throw raisins in it, you can throw stuff in after the fact. I'm going to shape this one into a ball really quick in 10 okay. seconds or less and then I'm going to make a hole in it and stretch it out. I'm going to make one of these wreath breads like for Christmas. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. And you can use enriched dough. We have egg, egg doughs and brioche okay. and dessert breads and that sort of thing. All right. Now we have is, about a minute left, so okay. keep going. Cut it down like that at a, at a very shallow angle. Just with scissors. Just with a scissor, a kitchen shears. And then this goes into the oven Okay. for 30 minutes. And that's it. 30 minutes at 450, throw some water into a pan at the bottom and that's it. And really quickly, if we can ask our photographer, sure. Jeff, to just sort of show that's the finished product. product that's the wreath bread like. for good. Christmas. This is some whole grain breads. Uh, these are actually some sort of cupcakes or chocolate and chocolate chip, all made, you, the same basic idea, you pre-mix all the dough. So what we really changed was if you want bread every day, you don't have to mix it every day. You don't need it. The, the stirring around was all you needed. Okay, and all that's right. It. This is always in my fridge now. All right, so really quickly, we're going to put up some information about the book, but what's in there that people, you know, somebody might say, if it takes five minutes, what do you need a whole book about it for? But, so what's in the book? The book is a, about a hundred recipes with all the variations. You've got to get the moisture just right. So it's got to be pretty wet to store in the fridge like that, but not so wet that it's too runny. It's got to hold a shape like what I just did. So plain doughs, enriched doughs, desserts, brioche, it's kind of all, all in there. All right. Information about Jeff's book is on our website as well as recipes. Thank you so much for coming. And you say the uh, anti-carb craze it's is over. over. It's Thank fine. goodness, right? Yes. I agree because yes. there's nothing better than a bagel. That's right. <laughs> you can make bagels with this too. All right. So there you have it. There's the book. It's all on our website. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. There you go.